Today, we're making a bowling alley in The Sims 4, but it's also pizza. Let us explain. This is the food court, or the artist formerly known as Magnolia Promenade, where every building is shaped like food. 50s pancake diner. Welcome to the stack. A cake bakery. Oh, you mean the cakery. We've definitely got that. And now it's been long enough, we've forgotten how hard it is to build with round walls. So we'll be tackling the biggest lot left today. Our grand idea was kind of inspired by the new stuff pack that just came out. Iron Chef Hustle. I think it's called Home Chef Hustle. That's what I said. Anyway, the new stuff pack came with three new appliances. One, which is a pizza oven. So we obviously thought pizzeria bowling alley. Naturally. Was there any other option? Nope. Let's uh, make the pizza. Also, this video is sponsored by Travel Town, but more on that later. Oh, wait. I forgot walls are kind of tall. It's just a deep dish pizza. A deep, deep dish pizza. That might be too many deeps. Square pizza does exist. Wait. No, that that's a joke. You can't just keep doing that. <laughs> no. You know what's pizza adjacent and square shaped? Uh, the box. Okay, love where your head's at, but now we can't see a pizza. It'll be open. Ow. No, you can't just shrug. <laughs> Stop shrugging. <laughs> do you have a pizza box in debug? Oh, hold up. Which one do you want? Ooh. Say your choice on three. Yeah. One, one two, two, three. Octopus. Octopus. Obviously. There wasn't even a choice. Duh. Now let's make him giant. I'm going to use the right bracket key and size the box way up. He's a kraken. And then I'm going to use tool mod to tilt it. Now it's open, just like I said. Wow, you did it. What would you do without me? Still missing a pizza. Right. Well, we don't need it to be a room anymore. I'm listening. <laughs> How about we just raise up the platform and get rid of the curved walls? You had me at get rid of the curved walls. Thought that might tell you. <laughs> now we can just tuck in a little pizzeria on one side and then a bowling alley on the other. Ooh, about that. Since when is that item so big? Maybe we could size it down? Mini golf is a thing. Why not mini bowling? Two pizza boxes side by side? An even larger pizza box on the bottom. Hmm, this is a pickle. I think you mean a pizza. No, no. <laughs> could we basement it? So then we could have like pizza up here and then bowling downstairs. Yes, yes, but. Okay, very conflicting signals here. We should just loft this area like a front entrance and you could see the bowling alley like below. That's it, brainstorming done. That's the idea. In order to do this, I'm gonna draw a wall to designate the loft space. Then I'm gonna draw in a basement. I'm gonna select this yellow line here and press remove ceiling, delete the floor, ah! go into the basement, come back up, delete the walls and boom, loft basement. Perfect. Now that that's squared away, we can pizzify the circle. There's too many puns. I'm not even going to comment on it. <laughs> I think the crust is going to be the hardest part. Looking at our options, I'm realizing we haven't thought this through. Nope. <laughs> the ottoman? No. Cat scratch post like turned on its side? I feel like we're getting further away. Fine, fine, fine. We're just fighting debug. I would never fight debug. <laughs> you shouldn't. It would fight back. I have a taquito. Okay, that's nowhere close to a pizza. I am literally cooking. <laughs> I've sized it up. Okay. I'm gonna slowly just rotate like a bunch of them around the edge. Wait, did you just make something? Is taquito pizza a thing? <gasps> Copyright. Dang, Con, that really looks like stuffed crust. Hey, stuff facts are the theme of the day, so it just makes sense. <laughs> Yellow floor pickings are slim. Ah, it's radioactive. <laughs> <laughs> You'd definitely get a superpower if you ate that pizza. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're such goofy girls. What? The shag carpet comes in yellow and it looks like shredded cheese. Oh no. No, that's like too good. All right, I'll put back the other one then. No, no! <laughs> For toppings, we're using this pool floaty as inspo. And before y'all start with, oh, why don't you just use that as the pizza? The challenge is if we can make the pizza from scratch ourselves. So that wouldn't be fair. Also, we already tried that and the pieces didn't fit perfectly. That too. I mean, they made these red rugs to be pepperonis. It needs the pepperoni spots. I weirdly know exactly what you mean. I just need something that's like a slightly lighter red, like Yes. And if I add a bunch of different sizes. Pepperoni spots. Pepperoni spots. I'm going to make the olives the exact same way. But I'm also going to add some of these around to make like different size pieces. What is that? You don't want to know. Now I kind of want to know. Yell out when you see something green. 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 <laughs> I win. <laughs> That's not the game. We both win. Should we add a little half wall so it looks like it's sitting in the box? Yes, we should. Pull that pizza out. She's done. Sure, pizza done. But we've still got an entire giant lot. Why did we pick the big one again? I don't know. We can always add a deck. I think we have to. Tell me when. You have already gone too far. Why is there still so much space? You know what this whole area is missing? A drink? <laughs> 
Yes. But what we really need is a parking lot. Best space waster ever. I love that. I'm going to throw down some black concrete. That feels like a given. Then I'm going to take this fence called Fence for Window Shopping in white. And then I'm going to draw out some parking spaces. Oh, cute. Strangerville has these, you know what? I don't know what they're called. Mini curbs? Parking stops, apparently. I don't stop a lot of people. I'm gonna add some no parking spaces here at the end by fully boxing this in. Then I'm gonna run the fence at an angle all the way across. I like that it just adds some visual interest. I'm interested. Also, your Sims can walk over these low-lying fences no problem, so it totally works. But we will have to use debug cards because we do not have real ones. I'm gonna make some of these like not so perfectly placed, so it's just like a little bit more realistic. We should make one be a delivery driver. Yes, and he could be the worst parked one. <laughs> He has places to be. He's got to go. He doesn't have time to park. We should totally add in the bowling sign. I was about to say that we should maybe add some pizza with the bowling because how would they know that there's also pizza? Yeah, how would they know? <laughs> we could do a little outdoor eating out here if we extend this deck just a bit. Did you just add this so we could put in string lights? Who could be thinking of doing that? Yes, who indeed? Oh, doesn't the new pack come with one of those food booth selling things? So you could come here and sell your own pizzas. Well, kind of. Oh. Unfortunately, you can't use a booth that's not from your inventory to sell for some reason. Oh. So consider this a placeholder. And then you can just delete it if you decide to use this as your hustle spot for the new pack. And we'll add a pizza cart from university just in case. Pizza is guaranteed. Oh no, it's done. Why oh no? It's so cute. Because now all I want is pizza. Oh, we're going to have to order that. <laughs> we can work on the inside while it gets here. This is easy. We just literally have to fit two entire businesses in here. What could go wrong? It's already gone wrong. Turns out adding a circle platform or a pizza platform on top, <laughs> the technical term, <laughs> makes this room act as if it's in the circle, aka everything is 10 times harder to grab. <sighs> And the ceilings are unpaintable. Oh, circles never change. So we're gonna treat this like the little entrance area. I'm gonna carry the cool stripe from outside into this part, but I feel like if we add it all the way around, that's like too much. The windows and doors are reading kind of industrial, so we could lean in and go brick. I'm fully leaning in. You gotta let me put the rest in. <laughs> What's this side? Maybe like the buy your bowling games part? We can add a little check-in desk with the new cabinets. Ooh! You're gonna have to stop me. Do I have to? I won't stop myself. Because when we looked through the swatches of these cabinets, we both said the one that we're never gonna use is the, the red, red one. one. But... Dang it, it kind of looks perfect with the neon sign we used outside. Right? Every time we say never, it's always the first thing we use. Oh, shoes. Yep. You're gonna have to use more words than that. Like this is where they get their bowling shoes. That makes way more sense. We're gonna be using a ton of this bowling stuff too. It's funny because it's another stuff pack. It's a stuff pack kind of day. After not getting one for two years, we're just extra committing. Wait, make this one the empty shelf and we could add it with the real people shoes? Because this is the shoes they've left like as collateral. First. Perfect detail, love it. But also, why are you making bowling sound like a shakedown? <laughs> they're not collateral, they're just taking them so you don't have to hold them, right? However you say it, they still took your shoes. Your Sims won't actually be able to use a cash register here, but this game's always a little bit about pretend. It takes a little imagination. <laughs> I can never resist using this little coin jar from Everyday Clutter, because I think it looks like a little tip jar. And because it's called Coin Octagon. <laughs> yes, actually, most importantly, it's called Coin Octagon. <laughs> do, 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 do. Coin Octagon. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> oh shoot we almost had it <laughs> they need a place to take off their shoes so maybe this could be like some kind of sitting area this lamp has bowling pin vibes and this coffee table literally looks like those reclaimed bowling lanes they make into furniture we totally planned this it wasn't just that this was the coffee table that fit no 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 all of this has story why is this rug the exact right red love when a build starts validating your choices got a little magazine rack over here we're fighting for our lives in here <laughs> my god <laughs> Circle Y. Places even have magazines anymore? What, you think they just offer people iPads as they come in now? Just a bunch of QR codes. This bulletin board can have all the upcoming events. And then I'm going to shrink down a bowling sign. Looks like a tournament announcement. Everything looks so great. And then you turn around and whap. Hmm, it does feel like this spot is staring at us. Do we have another bowling sign? The other kind of big thing is this arrow. But where is it pointing? Out? So welcoming is the first <laughs> thing you see. Welcome in. Now get out. Can we flip it so it's pointing to the bowling? That's 
kind of cool. And we do have a bit of an arrow thing going on. We put one outside too. The people will not get lost. We will show them where to bowl no matter what. <laughs> Moving downstairs, first things first. We're gonna paint these outside walls black so it blends into the basement void more. God, we're down here. The circle doesn't matter anymore. Circle doesn't matter, baby. You can't find us down here. <laughs> we're free. We want at least four lanes. That's so many. In this town, we take our bowling seriously. They've gotta be in like a sunken pit. Why are you suddenly like a bowling expert? Some repressed memories are coming back. <laughs> and look how cool it is because you can actually stare down from the balcony and see the lanes. That looks sick. <laughs> we are gonna have to add stairs. Just add them. They look so small. Well, they're the only stairs we have. <laughs> Or are they? I'm gonna add in some platform stairs. Since your Sims can walk one level down at a time, you can build your own stairs by adding in platforms that each get one level lower every time until they get down to your floor height. Doesn't that look more impressive? I'm impressed. You'd better be. I'd be more impressed if we keep going. <laughs> what flooring do we add in here? We have the bowling rug that we could just size up like a carpet, right? Ugh, why are all the swatches horrible for our red and yellow theme though? The bowling stuff pack has a very selective set of colors. And it's against us. We use checkerboard as a theme in both of our other food builds. Maybe we could just add it in here. Stop trying to justify it. It looks awesome. Do we just add in the same bowling benches? I really wish we could do some cool booths like bowling alleys have. We could do a seat like... Don't know what that is, but it looks cool. <laughs> I'm going to this dream home decorator sectional. I'm going to click this little cog icon to see all of my piece options, including this awesome rounded one that I'm going to use to make a curve on the end here. And then we have two really cute curvy custom booths. Here, this is one of my favorite things you've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So I added some tables down here and I was thinking I'm going to take some TVs and I'm going to raise them up and then they could look like little screens where you put your name in before you start a bowling game. Oh, that looks so good. And then we can add some little menus. Like you can place your order here too. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Bowling ball item is great because there are two different sets. And then each set has two different swatches of different colored bowling balls. We love variety. And just like upstairs, we have another big blank wall. <laughs> How many arrows do you think we could fit over here? No, we're not doing arrows again. I'm thinking we find something cool, like a mural or something that goes on bricks. Wait, that one has an arrow. <laughs> How does this keep happening? It's a sign, literally. The other one had lights, so you're cool with me adding indoor string lights in here too, right? Uh, I knew you'd be down. <laughs> I'm actually thinking more about the bathrooms. Ugh. Oh, we did get some new base game doors we can use. Doors are not enough decor. She's right, more decor. That is so cute with the bowling ball trophy. Yeah, it's making me think about how we added this trophy at the pancake diner. So I'm thinking story. They have a big bowling tournament here every year against all of the rest restaurants in town. So the stack took home the trophy last year, and then this will be this year's trophy. That's up for grabs. And then we can add some jerseys, like these are the past winners. <gasps> Make one of them blue so it matches like the bottom level of the stack. Love it, love it, love it. These are just public bathrooms. We could go kind of simple or simply extra. Simply extra it is. The best part about matching bathrooms is you really don't have to think about what to put on the other side. Except I do want to change this stall to the one with the graffiti. Okay, so maybe just a little less thinking. Just sinks? I think this is where we're going to need to bring in the red. Whoa, yeah, you're not kidding. We need something fun up there. This isn't fun enough for you? Nope. How about the bowling clock? Now that's... Fun. Everyone has more fun when they're on time. That only leaves the little entrance to the pizzeria. Get like a door in here so we can get a feel for the space. Since we're going industrial, we have to use this one. It's so pretty. There's still a lot of space on this wall though. We could add, I can't believe I'm the one saying this. More windows? Don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> Those would be so cute if they fit. They're like little pizza slices. I'll make them fit. You can't, you can. You can. <laughs> I love when more windows is the answer. For you, it's too often the answer. <laughs> I know we are about to do an entire eating area, but what if you just want a little snack so we could throw like a couple of vending machines over here? I'm also thinking we've added a lot of speakers around the place. So maybe we should have something that actually plays music. That makes even more sense. Now those bowling pins you're putting up there do not. <laughs> Why not? They go with everything. Everyone knows plant, book, candle, lamp, bowling pin. We've got the bowling. We should add a little more pizza. Our 
art options in terms of pizza are kind of limited. But we could always... No, no, we actually need pizza. They need to know where to go for the pizza. This might be silly, but if we take the other pizza box, the less whimsical doesn't have an octopus chef option. That's the one. And if we can flip it, do you think this looks like a canvas print? Not even kind of. That is, it looks so cool. You got a little table there. You're going to have to figure out more things to put on it. I've got a system. Lamp, plant, book, candle, and bowling pin is not going to save you. <laughs> not unless we combine them. You have my attention. What if we make our own bowling pin lamp? Ah, that little like string pole takes us to a whole other level of adorable. Ooh, that's the biggest area done. <laughs> and our first bowling alley ever. You said that like we're going to make a second. Look how cute this is. Of course we're going to do another one. Next one we should go full 80s. <gasps> oh my god, yes. <laughs> the colors will work better that way for sure. Ooh, hoo, hoo, it's pizzeria time, baby. Not us doing the thing that actually inspired this build last. So first things first, big checkerboard floors already on it. I was actually going to say that we need to decide what type of lot type this is going to be. I guess technically there's no bowling type lot. Your right. Sims will only autonomously bowl if it's a bar. But then we can't have it function as a pizzeria if we don't have it as a restaurant. I propose that we just put in enough stuff for both and we'll let everybody who downloads it choose their own adventure. I mean, more is more. For sure. Oh, this works out because bowling night stuff actually has a super cute bar and it's got this like soda fountain thingy on it. And for the restaurant, we got to get in a chef station. This one is a bit bulky. Yeah, I prefer the wall one. But I don't think that'll work just putting it in the basement void. I would not like to know what dishes get made out there. <laughs> Me either. Could we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already on it. Make a little kitchen back here. Yeah. It's just one more room. We've got plenty of space. <laughs> we have seven kitchens down here. And maybe we could add some cabinets underneath here. I can't believe we committed to the red so hard. I'm kind of into it now. In fact, I'm thinking of doing something a little bold. Okay, I'm interested. Wrap around wall cabinets. Okay, I'm confused. Which wall? Well, it technically doesn't exist yet. I'm gonna draw in a couple of walls around the serving area. Then I'm gonna use the new stuff pack upper cabinets all around here. Delete the walls. Add in columns. And now you have like a little separated prep station. Oh, I see. Why didn't you say so? I did. <laughs> Not loving how the front of the bar stands out. You wanna try a different color? I'm wondering if we can actually enclose this area even more more with a half wall. And then we could shove the bar into it just enough so people can still sit on this side. I've got the perfect red. That might be the max amount of red this space can take. Oh, then um, what would you say to a whole wall of red booths? That looks better than it has any red to. <laughs> I was like, you can't. I like it. I do wish these booths worked better. Like I want a long table in here, but it's not going to snap. Yeah, we just need some modular booth and bench seating, like the dream home sectional stuff, except that it would snap to the tables. And then we could have like little breakfast nooks. Did we just come up with a kid idea? Breakfast nook kid, double copyright. Good thing you keep saying copyright. Our ideas are just so safe. I know we are probably gonna have some in the kitchen as well, but I do like the idea of having a couple of pizza ovens out here too. That totally works because even if you classify this place as a bar, your Sims still have some place easy to cook themselves a pizza if they want it. It's <laughs> self-serve. Yes, but you do still have to pay. <laughs> In-house, not on the house. <laughs> this wall is blank, 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 blank. How blank? Blank. I don't really want to put in more counters though. What if we do open shelving ones? Cute. And then this becomes like the little takeout spot where people can come and grab their delivery orders. Yeah. And then we could put like some lockers over here. For what? VIPs. <laughs> Very important pizzas. <laughs> yeah. Very important pizza. <laughs> well, we did it. I love it. Again? Incredible. <laughs> we just keep doing it. And now for my little red kitchen. I'm not going to stop you. Go to town. I'm already on it. I know we didn't initially plan on a kitchen kitchen, but this works out because we can get a really good look at the new stuff. Yeah, we've already used these kitchen cabinets a couple of times, but I love having something more modern in the game now. And some of these swatches are really nice too. I especially like the green. Mm -hmm. I do think they missed a bit of a trick though by not adding an all light wood option. Oh, that would have looked so sick with these terrazzo counters. Those are my favorite countertops. <laughs> also, the new fridge and oven are the only ones that don't have that weird gap. So they butt up against the cabinets perfectly. Ooh. So nice. Your girls love a built-in. <laughs> I really do. And the little dishwasher is like a baby one. It's so cute. <sighs> I'm so sad saying this because I think that this little corner shelf is such a good idea. But when you put other cabinets next to it, it kind of like disappears. I know what you're saying. 
put more shelves around it. Sure. But the problem is because it's classified as a cabinet, the lighting is a little off, which means it doesn't match up with the actual other wood swatch of these shelves. Yeah, I kind of wish they'd given us just a regular corner cabinet and then had these corner shelves as an individual item. But I know that making a kitchen pack, it looks smaller sometimes, but it's actually way bigger because each of these cabinet pieces, like the big tall ones, all the corner ones and everything counts as an individual item. So that's a lot of work. At least these are easy to decorate. I added some peppers here and I'm gonna pop in some olives so it can be like the different pizza toppings. For pepperoni girls, but I approve. I do love that we got three new appliances though. The pizza oven, the waffle maker, and the stand mixer that's about to go in every build. And it comes in red. I do think this really modern stuff would go great with, wait for it, a new apartment pack. Stop, ugh, and the new modern Lux kit stuff would crush with that too. Quick, say it three times fast and it has to come true. New, new apartment, apartment pack, new apartment pack, new apartment, apartment pack. pack. Oh yeah, and because this is a stuff pack, it also has a ton of cast options too, like hair and clothes and stuff. We don't know anything about that. True, true. You're gonna have to find another set of twins for that review. I really wanted to get the pizza floaties in here, so I took the new stack of plates, I sized it up, then I shoved it into this cabinet so it'll never go away. <laughs> and it was really hard to do, so she's not gonna recreate it. I'll do it again. <laughs> the pizza floating and I'm sizing it way down. Then I'm gonna circle them around the plate so it looks like the pizza's just been sliced. That's so cute. And let's leave out a couple of pieces. So this one on the counter and the one that we put in the bowling alley look like they came out of there. Ooh, so fresh. Wait, there's debug and stuff packs? You best believe it. And this pizza paddle's going up on the wall. Is that what it's called? Pizza paddle? what it's called now. The new little cookbook has a pizza. The new little cookbook has a pizza. I also like this item because you can use it in gameplay. You can click on it and you can start a recipe. And for a finishing touch. Oh, thank goodness you found another arrow. How else would they know where to go in this place? <laughs> it really does look nice all together. It is really nice when all the swatches match up. She's a red girl now. Don't put that on me. I was gonna say we knocked it out of the park, but if that's baseball. We struck out? Well, that doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> yeah, not as much bowling lingo in real life. Well, stay in your lane. Isn't that driving? I don't know. <laughs> Did we ever come up with a name for this one? Ooh, Pizza Planet. Oh, different franchise. Pizza Place. That's just the same letter. <laughs> really thought I had something there. What about Pizza Alley? Oh, but I love that. Yeah, it's got the pizza. Yup. And the bowling. With the alley. And alley also kind of sounds industrial, which fits with the whole like brick vibe we were going with. That deserves a chef's kiss right there. A million chef's kisses. I can't believe that's three out of the four lots filled with only one left to go. So get your comments in now for what you want to see over there. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that last one. Also, give the video a like, just cause. Just cause. Oh, and just one more thing. Okay, everyone close your eyes. She means it. No one better be peeking. Now, picture a nice, calm, beautiful ocean. There's a peaceful beach. Ah, calm. I'm adding to the ambiance. Anyway. <laughs> now also that beach is attached to a lovely little town. It's like I'm there. And also that town is filled with little fixer upper restaurants and houses that you can save up to make beautiful, all while playing a super cute little game to earn coins to do it. Okay, you might have lost me. Well, if this is your dream scenario like mine, then you're gonna love today's sponsor, Travel Town. Oh my gosh, the opening screen is Halloween themed right now. How cute. Travel Town is just one of the most satisfying free to download mobile match and merge puzzle games. Just tap your bucket to reveal items that you've gathered from the beach, find identical ones, and then match them together to form an all new item. This really scratches the itch in my brain that needs to A, collect all of the things, and B, how satisfying it is to make cooler and cooler items. The Travel Townies will request certain items that you can redeem for coins and the characters couldn't be cuter. Oh, the art style is absolutely gorgeous. And the devs really focused on making the characters have like specific personalities and really fun little storylines. As you get more coins, you're able to unlock more parts of the town map. Stuff like this freaking adorable little hotel that we took from this to this. And we did make one of the townies test it out when there wasn't a roof. That's right. Sorry, Terrell. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Terrell. <laughs> As you get further along, you get more unique basket and buckets with more items to merge, more unique orders, and even more slots you can open up on your beach for more merging madness. If you're like us, you have to have like a game on your phone that you can just play when you have like a little downtime. Or to multitask yes. with. This has become that game for me. I love just sitting back on the couch, matching all the little Little things to like peacefully get to the next goal that I'm trying to go for. It's truly like a vacation for my brain. We haven't even talked about daily challenges, random events, little treasure chests. Y'all gotta check it out. You've got to. As we said before, Travel Town is free to download. So if you check out the link in our description, you can get it today. Thank you so much, Travel Town, for sponsoring this video. We really, really, really appreciate it. And we appreciate all of you for sticking around. We'll see y'all next time. Bye!